Let's talk about the types of crates first. This is a plastic airline crate. They are not generally made large enough for adult Great Danes. I don't know of any company that makes them large enough for an adult Great Dane. And this is an example of a wire metal crate, 54 inch. This is what you're gonna need for an adult Great Dane. It uh, can be found on Amazon or most pet stores will carry them. So this is a, uh, a puppy that we have here. This is my Great Dane puppy. She usually stays in a different kind of crate. She uses a large wire metal crate that you can see through this is completely different. It's a plastic airline crate and uh, she's never been inside one of these. So you can see she's a little hesitant at going in. I don't know, this door's closing here. So this is gonna be the evolution that you'll likely see with a dog that you are introducing. Um, door was closed in there, it was kind of freaking her out a little bit. So I just, just getting her to go in, prop the door open, threw a piece in. Um, I'm putting some right outside the door. She can go up, get it, eat it. No force, no commands, I'm not saying anything to her. She's just making the decision to go eat these treats. So I put it right inside the door. Give her a second. Show her it's there. She goes up. She gets the smell. Stick her head in. And this is real time. This is, this is about how long it takes to get a dog who is uncomfortable getting into something to do so. So as she's eating, I'm throwing a couple in behind her. Give her one outside. There, she, she's, now she put two feet in. You know, she took one foot, okay, one foot going in, that didn't, didn't kill me. And she put the second one in. Still don't love the idea at this point. She's kind of like, I'd rather you just give me the treats outside. I'll go in here and eat these things. As this kind of crate is completely different than the wire crate. So a dog that uses one will not necessarily be okay with using the other. And there she goes, she's all the way in. Now there's no force, I'm not using any force, she comes out. Now, this is how I like to train. I like to train both going in and coming out she gets a treat for coming out too, and then she gets a treat for going in. Because um, when I'm trying to train a behavior like this, she's she's going to eventually get to the point if I'm just throwing them in the crate to just go in, and she's going to stay in there. And that's fine, but I'm trying to rehearse the behavior of going in and coming out at this point. You'll see here later in the video where we remove the, the muzzle that's holding the uh, door open and the door closes a little bit. She, but she gets to come back out. She doesn't have to stay in there. So I throw a couple pieces in and you see right now she's, she's freely going in, coming out, getting, uh, getting rewards going in and out. She's got absolutely no problem with this at this point. So I kick the muzzle out of the way. Now the door, door's swinging, and you can expect a little bit of apprehension now. Why, why is this door moving? So I hold it open so it's a little more steady. Show her it's the same game. You go in, you get the food, you come out. Now, I, I didn't close the door on her. I just let it swing back to where it was there. And she, she learns, okay, I'm not dead. I can push that door open. I still control this. And she, she's comfortable with that. Lots of treats with things like this. Anything a dog's freaked out about, you want to try to get them past it with a positive experience with food. If they're not taking food, they're too stressed out. So you gotta just 
Take it a little slower. So I give her a piece while she's still in there. She's getting to eat, sticking her head out. Now, this first training session with this kind of crate, because she was a little apprehensive, I'm not gonna push it too far. I'm just gonna let it get to the point where she goes in here in a little bit, and you're gonna see, I'm gonna close the door and hold it shut. And she's gonna be calm. I'm gonna give her a piece of food through there, and then we're gonna end it pretty much on that. So when you're, Whenever you're using a crate, you want it to, and your dog's showing some apprehension of going in and out. There I am holding the crate door shut. She's not too happy about it, but she takes a piece of food and she takes it and I'm like, okay, that's all you need to do. This is a 54 inch crate, the size that you're gonna need for a Great Dane. This is set up in our bedroom here. It's a two door crate, has one on the front and one on the side. Um, you can see here, I make her wait before we go in and she holds it. I, I open the door and that doesn't mean go in. I opened it and then I told her to go in and then I feed her inside. And then when I open the door to come out, she doesn't charge out. She waits to be told to come out. If she tries to run out, I'll slam, slam the door shut. So she waits to come out. Everything's controlled. She understands the game more clearly that way. So I, I like to teach crate training like that, just so dogs understand there's structure to going in and coming out of the crate. It, uh, it makes things uh, a little more clear for them. Here I am, I'm using the side door. So she gets that, the picture of using both doors depending on which one uh, I wanna use. She comes out, gives me a sit and she gets a treat and she holds it. Now I tell her to go in. And when she's inside, I feed her through the, the crate there. My dogs, even as adults, they get treats going in the crate. Okay, now, alternately, this is not a crate. This is our puppy Cece and a puppy pen. She is used to it. If you bring a puppy home, they may not be used to a puppy pen, but this is an alternate uh, confinement tool. It is not as good as a crate. A dog can climb out, jump out over the top. They can move these things all around by pushing them, and they have access to the floor where they can dig or chew your carpet up. But they are an alternate uh, method of containing your dog somewhere. CC's been in this since she's a puppy, so she, she doesn't show those bad behaviors. And we use it to uh, contain her down here in our, our TV room. Same things though, she waits before going in, waits coming out, structure to the whole thing. Sa same uh, idea as the crate training, but it's a, a different option for you than a crate. 